What's up, adventurers? I made the trek yesterday to my local game store and I found some new products I've never seen before, as well as some familiar ones. And I want to share with you what I picked up and unbox everything. Come on, adventurers, let's dive in. Yesterday, I made a trip to one of my favorite local game stores, the Tabletop Gaming Center in Newington, Connecticut. I wanted to check out if they had any really cool new D&D accessories in stock that I could pick up. And I knew I wanted to pick up one of my favorites, one of these D&D collectible figure boxes. First, I picked up one of these Icons of the Realms figure boxes. If you're not familiar with these, Dungeons and & Dragons and Icons of the Realms put these out every so often. And it's, it's like a little mystery box. There are pre-painted figures in these and you never know what you're going to get in each box. This one though is called the Boneyard and it seems to be all like undead type things. And with the new um, Van Richen's Guide to Ravenloft coming out, I thought this would be perfect to pick up one of these boxes, open it together and see what we have inside. Now the other two products I picked up at the store are accessories I've never seen before and I was really excited about this. First was some tabletop terrain from this company called Battle Systems. Sorry about the glare on that, that might be a little better. I did some research on this company online and it appears that they're actually a UK company. This company has terrain for fantasy settings but they also have sci-fi settings and urban apocalypse settings as well. Lastly, I stumbled across a product I have never seen before, but I don't know what rock I was hiding under. Um, I looked online at this company too. This is an Epic Encounters box, and this is from the company Steamforged Games, which according to the back of the box is also located in the UK, same as the Battle Systems. And this is a 5e compatible adventure. It says in the box, everything you need to create an epic encounter for your role-playing game. My game store had about six or seven different in boxed encounters that you could get. They were either $40 or $50. This one was 40 and it's called Swamp of the Hydra. It looks as though it has a really awesome Hydra mini inside, as well as a map and an adventure and some other accessories. So we're gonna open that up and take a look at that as well. First up, let's check out what's inside the Icons of the Realms mini box. These are always so much fun to open because you don't know what you're gonna get. So it's similar to the excitement of like opening a pack of magic cards or things like that or Pokemon cards. Now these are labeled on the bottom which piece out of the set they are and what they're called. It appears as though this set has about 40, was it 45 or 49? 45 different collectible figures. And this first one here, and I'll insert close-ups, is called a poltergeist. It actually looks like a little table with some objects on it that are kind of flying off the table. <laughs> That's really interesting. Okay, next mini, it looks like I got a skeleton. Oh, and the poltergeist table, it said was number nine out of 45. The skeleton is number 15 out of 45. And so I'm getting, this has three of the small minis and one of the bigger size ones. Oh, this last one, this guy's pretty creepy. He is a zombie and he's actually number one out of 45. And I'll put, again, I'll put some close-ups in of these um, minis. The thing I love about these is that they're pre-painted. Okay, the big guy I got today is the War Horse Skeleton, and he is number 29 out of 45. This guy looks so cool. It is a horse skeleton, and he does have um, like a harness on and a saddle, and his whole rib cage is showing, and he's all bones. That is certainly creepy and pretty cool. I'm almost tempted to get another one and see what I get in the next box. Okay, next up, let's crack into this Battle Systems Thatched Cottage. I was really excited to find these. They look very realistic on the outside and even the inside, once you put a building together, there's even imagery on the inside. You can take the roof off. And if it's a multi-level building, you can lift the levels off too. 
and they have so many different pieces and things that you can really do the whole collection and make some really great terrain for your game. Adventurers, if you're enjoying this video, could you go ahead and hit that like button, give us a thumbs up. It helps support the channel more than you know. Now I went with the thatch cottage. There were some really cool ones and I do like the thatch cottage, but I went with that one because it was the least expensive and I've never bought one of these before. So I wanted to actually um, check it out without spending too much because trust me, they had like a whole big castle that was like $100 that looked amazing. Okay, so back of the box, it has the contents, how many wall panels, floor tiles, clips, chimney bookcase, like all the little accessories. It does say it's best for ages 14 and up. Uh, let's see. And it says this box contains everything you need to build a tumble down cottage suited for many 28 to 35 millimeter fantasy and historical games. The interior is fully detailed and the roof is removable. This set comes complete with decking, a chimney and scatter terrain to accessorize your gaming table. Many of the pieces are modular and can be assembled in different combos or can be mixed and matched with the rest of the range. Flat packed on high quality, high density card printed in full color on both sides, no painting required, I love that. Requires assembly and some smaller parts will require glue. Okay, good to know. And then it's got their website here, which I will put um, a link to their website down below. But let's check out this thatched cottage. Now we've got an envelope here, which I think has probably the clips in it. I noticed their website has some tutorial videos on how to put some of the pieces together. And it looks like they're held with these uh, plastic clips. So I'm guessing that's what's in here. Aha, yes. Now, I will admit the, pa the packaging of this giant bubble mailer just for this one little pack of clips seems a little excessive. But that's okay. Okay, and then we've got the pieces and they are all in a plastic bag. Now, I have yet to see any instructions, which means perhaps you do have to visit the website. I can't get them out of the plastic because they're in there pretty good. There we go, okay. One, two pages. And it says right on it, thatched cottage, one of two, two of two. And you've got all the pieces here and you can see how it's double-sided. So they have great imagery on both sides, like stone texture, wood texture. There's even, now one thing I noticed on their website, which I love, which I will point out, cause I'm not gonna punch this all out together right now and put it together, but let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a video on putting this together. Um, there's like, even on the, the wall pieces that have windows, the windows actually open. I can tell that I can punch part of the window out and like bend it so that the windows open, which I think would provide a really cool opportunity to put some like battery operated lights inside and kind of make the thing glow would be really cool. So it looks as though what you do is you punch the pieces out and they have little notches in the side where the clips fit. Now there's a couple different size, different shape, more than a couple, I think, clips in here because it looks like there's T-shaped clips, L-shaped clips uh, in here to put the things together. This looks really neat. I can't wait to actually get this all assembled and put together and have it look like this cottage here. And you can see maybe on the back how the roof is removable. But I'm really excited about this. If this comes together well and I really like it, I might actually go back and get some more pieces to start like a collection of these and everything is labeled on here. You can see bench, bench, thatched roof, wall, barrel. Man, I'm pretty excited about this. This looks really cool. Let me know what you think down below about this battle systems, tabletop games and terrain. Adventures, if you love all things Dungeons and Dragons, tips, tricks, unboxings, and reviews, you might wanna make sure you subscribe to the channel down below, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when all the epic videos are released. Okay, lastly, we've got our big box here. Hopefully there's not a, too much of a glare on there. The Epic Encounters box. And I picked up Swamp of the Hydra. Again, this is from Steamforged Games. And from the small print on the back here, looks like it is also from the UK. Some really great D&D &D 
UK game companies making their way over here to the US. I love it. Um, so this says box includes the Swamp Hydra miniature, 12 goblin tokens, a poison gas token, six unstable turf tokens, a Swamp Hydra counter dial. I assume maybe that's to keep track of its hit points. Maybe we'll see a double sided game map, an adventure book, the monster stats and tips and tricks for building up tension and excitement. That's really cool. And there's a picture of the Hydra miniature on the back. Oh, glare. There we go. And it does say actual size. So this should be how big the miniature actually is in the box here. It says right on the front that it's 5e compatible and everything you need to create an epic encounter for your role playing game. So it seems to me like these are going to be really great either for one shots or to drop in a current campaign that you're playing in. That would be a lot of fun too. So let's open this bad boy up and see. Again, my store had about five or six different ones of these that were all either $40 or $50. This appears to be the adventure book that comes inside. Full color. I like that it's nice and small and compact and not like full size. This way it takes up less room behind your dungeon master screen. Kind of so it looks like it has some information about Hydra and Hydra layers. So like a little bit, some lore, which is really cool. The different locations that are on the map and they're numbered like you would find in a Wizards of the Coast Dungeon and Dragons book, the descriptions. And there's more than just the Hydra for them to fight in here. We've got some goblins. Next, looks like we've got a little cardboard punch out here of the tokens it mentioned. So we've got the 12 goblin tokens, six tokens to represent unstable turf, a big token to represent poison gas. Oh, and here is that Hydra counter they were talking about. Looks like it's a two piece cardboard punch out to put together with this little um, plastic knob that holds the thing together so you can spin it. Okay, so next we have maps. Oh, these feel nice. <laughs> if you remember my dungeon in a box videos, which you can find right up here, I talked about how I loved the paper that the dungeon on a box maps were printed on. And this is the same kind of thing. It's like a very silky finish map and it's matte. Okay. And it's two sided. So we have this side of the map and this side. Now, they actually look pretty similar, but you've got some clusters of things that are kind of in different spaces here. I don't know. Oh, ho, ho. and the Hydra. So that's the only thing left here in the box is this giant mini. <laughs> Let's get him out and check this guy out. Now he's all solid green right here. So you could use him as is, or you could paint him. And I believe I went ahead and followed um, Steamforge games on like Instagram and Twitter. And there's some cool photos of how people have painted some of the minis that they offer. Look at this guy. Oh, he's heavy. This thing is huge. I'm going to put some close ups in too, but look at this guy. I don't know if I've ever owned a mini this big. This is crazy. So let's see. Let me get the plastic pieces out of here. Oh, the I need the bottom of the box it says actual size yeah they're not kidding they're not kidding that's the actual size of the mini that's fantastic now this would be a really great one to paint i'm really excited about all these products this one looks great i really want to play this one with my group Adventurers, if you love unboxing videos i have a whole playlist of reviews and unboxings that you can check out right up here Epic question of the day, which of these items did you think was the coolest? Are you going to go out and get some Icons of the Realms Boneyard minis? Or maybe check out some Battle Systems terrain? Or was your favorite the big Epic Encounters box? Let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite. Next, you're going to want to watch one of the videos on the next screen. Go ahead and click on that video and I'll see you there. Now go have an epic adventure.